Say action. Action. Okay, hello again, everybody, SoCo uh, family and SoCo related channels. Right, so Arzia Bibi, you may recall off the top of my head, she's the lady who spent eight years on death row in Pakistan. She's Christian. She was falsely accused of um, shirk or blasphemy against Mohammed and sentenced to death. Her brother-in-law had his throat slashed after she was released from prison. Her one, I think one of the judges was murdered. Her legal team were threatened. Um, she is now, her and her immediate family are now in a separate country um, in safety, but obviously her extended family um, are still in Pakistan, which is where her brother-in-law was murdered very recently. So on September 11th, which is already quite a sad day, um, International Christian Concern have said that in a recent interview with Aid to the Church in Need, Azia Bibi has called on Pakistani's Prime Minister to protect the country's persecuted Christian minority. She went on to specifically highlight the suffering of Christian girls who are abducted, forcefully married um, and forcefully converted to Islam. So you may remember Myra Shabazz, who is one of these girls. She's a 14-year-old. The High Court in Pakistan have now ordered the police to protect her as she has fled her abductor. Um, but it's still unresolved because previous to that, a court ordered her back to her abductor. And prior to that, um, she was ordered into a woman's hostel. So that poor girl literally like, doesn't know whether she's coming or going. Bibi became the face of persecuted Christians in Pakistan after she was wrongfully sentenced to death under the country's notorious blasphemy laws, I read here, in 2010. After a decade of legal battles, um, the Supreme Court in Pakistan acquitted her and she was allowed to flee. While speaking to Alessandro Montaduro, the director of ACN's Italian National Office, Bibi and Montaduro discussed the case of Huma Yunas and Myra Shabazz, who I just referenced. Both these Christian teens, so I know for sure Myra is 14, um, have been abducted by adult uh, Muslim men in this instance, forcefully converted to Islam and married uh, to their abductors. So according to local reports, Myra has escaped the custody of her abductor and is hiding with her family. Huma, unfortunately, um, reportedly remains confined to a single room in her abductor's house. It must be absolutely terrifying uh, for a teenager to be abducted at gunpoint in the street and then kept as a hostage whilst international news outlets know of it. Like she must feel so abandoned. Please pray for her. According to a 2014 study, the details of which I will leave in the description box, by the Movement for Solidarity and Peace in Pakistan, an estimated 1,000 girls and women from Pakistani's Hindu and Christian communities are forcefully married. So uh, this is just a, like a side note. Forcefully married <laughs> means raped. Um, to their captors and forcibly converted. The issue of religion is often used um, in cases of sexual assault against Hindu and Christian women and girls in order to denigrate their social status um, in rulings that can only be described as Sharia. So again, please pray for the Hindu and Christian girls of Pakistan and their adult counterparts um, and keep them in your heart and God will reveal a way hopefully for you to help me out here in publicizing these cases. Um, look to persecution dot org um, open doors uh, I think it's dot org also have a look there see what you can do like if you're good at social media please publicize these videos and these cases if you're good at writing letters please do write and complain or you know uh, rebuke actually anyone you can think of speak to your local uh, church leaders ask them to specifically include Pakistani uh, Christian girls and women, also Hindu counterparts, in their um, targeted prayers on Sunday services and just generally have a heart. I know you do and I'm thankful that you uh, continue to support us at SoCo and pray for us. We also pray for you but more importantly we pray for those Christians who can't receive any fellowship, who are living as, um, yeah, as captives. I think it's really sad. I'm not going to be teary this week, not to worry. But um, anything's possible, actually. So watch this space. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.